from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, June the 3rd, 2022. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett met today with Director General of the IAEA, the International Atomic Energy Agency, Dr. Rafael Grossi in Tel Aviv. Grossi tweeted, I stressed the importance of the agency's safeguards and the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons for Global Peace and Security. Bennett tweeted he expressed Israel's deep concern regarding Iran's continued progress toward achieving nuclear weapons while he wrote deceiving the international community by using false information and lies. Calling on the international community to take action to prevent Iran from achieving nuclear weapons. Bennett also made it clear his office said that while Israel prefers diplomacy in order to deny Iran the possibility of developing nuclear weapons, it reserves the right to self-defense and to action against Iran in order to block its nuclear program should the international community not succeed in the relevant time frame. The Jerusalem Pride Parade took place yesterday, marking the beginning of Pride Month, recognizing and celebrating freedom and equality for LGBTQ communities. The Jerusalem event, now in its 20th year, was held under heavy security after a number of violent threats against it, and several arrests were made. Israel's Public Security Minister Omer Barlev, who was among the 7,000 participants yesterday, said it was a shame that police had to provide security at this beautiful event instead of protecting citizens from crime and terror. Diaspora Affairs Minister Nachman Shai tweeted he was happy to bump into U.S. Ambassador to Israel Tom Nides. He tweeted, as we both celebrate the freedom of love and tolerance, core values of both of our countries. Nides led the U.S. Embassy staff at the parade. Knesset Speaker Mickey Levy said he was shocked over the threats of violence to the parade goers, telling the crowd at the end of the parade, you are entitled to love who you want, you are entitled to marry who you love, you are entitled to raise a family like anyone else. These are not privileges. These are basic rights for every citizen in the country. Outgoing CEO of the American Jewish Committee, David Harris, was honored by the government of Germany. Its ambassador to the U.S., Emily Haber, presented Harris with the Order of Merit last night in New York, the highest distinction Germany can award to an individual. A worthy recognition, she told Harris, of your lifelong commitment to the Jewish community and the relationship between Jews and Germany. And World Jewish Congress President Ronald Lauder was honored by France, whose President Emmanuel Macron today named Lauder a Commander of the Legion of Honor for his service to the world's communities and the broad vision of peace and culture that he embodies. The honor is France's highest order of distinction, and commander is the highest civilian category for a non-French citizen. While the Jewish holiday of Shavuot begins tomorrow night, celebrating the giving of the Torah to the Jewish people, and we will have Shavuot services here for you on JBS tomorrow, Saturday, at 6 p.m. Eastern Time from Central Synagogue and then at 7.30 p.m. Eastern from the Hampton Synagogue. On Sunday at 9.30 a.m. from Central, 11 a.m. from the Hampton Synagogue, 7.30 p.m. from the Hampton Synagogue, and Monday, 11 a.m. from the Hampton Synagogue. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Friday, June the 3rd, live Shabbat services coming up at 6 from Central Synagogue, followed by Shabbat services from the Hampton Synagogue. At 8.30, the film Blue and Gray about the 10,000 Jewish soldiers who fought in the Civil War. At 9.30, Rabbi Shai Held and Rabbi David Ingber talk about God and Torah. At 10.30, a replay from the Hampton Synagogue, followed by a replay from Central. And coming up next, a look at this week's Torah portion. And that's the JBS News Update for Friday, June the 3rd, 2022. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach.